Hey guys, welcome to day two of Vlogtober. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not new, thank you so much for watching the first one. And if you are new, thank you so much for joining in on the family. We absolutely appreciate you. We love, love, love it when new family members join in on the family because what's better than a big family, guys? So today we are going to do a laser treatment. Um, yeah so i want to permanently remove my pubic hair i don't know if you actually can permanently remove your pubic hair but i'm just gonna give it a shot and see what happens apparently you have to go three times um so i'm gonna go this week and hopefully next week and then the other week then the procedure will be done but i'll document it and post it as i go so i'm not gonna post it in like one big video i'm just gonna um What's this? I'm just going to post it, um, you know, in segments. Also because it's pretty much the same thing. I don't think there's anything different. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's anything different. Anyway, I forgot to tell you guys this yesterday. So guys, I thought maybe I should put like this duke over um, my wig. Because I haven't moisturized it. I still want to wash it and then, um, you know, just clean it up. Maybe I'll vlog that. Um, also, I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, I'm trying to make these vlogs as... What's going on at the back? I'm so distracted. Oh, it's my laptop. But anyway, I'm trying to uh, make these vlogs as honest as possible. I'm trying to stay away from, like, you know, selling this perfect life, especially because it's mostly vlogs. Um, I want you guys to clean up with me. I want you guys to... Um, do whatever you know with me without me feeling like I need to um, sort of um, portray this perfect lifestyle um, so yes that's what I'll be doing of course I'm not going to overshare and stuff but like I'm also not going to make it seem like the house is always clean or that I've got it all together and that everything is going well or whatever um, so this is like a journey, a 30-day journey with me, um, just being as random as possible. But anyway, let me not talk too much. Let's get right into this laser treatment thingy majiggy. I don't know what it is, but let's get right into it. Hey guys, I actually took off my duke because it just wasn't making sense. Um, the shades of green were not matching. But anyway, um, I want us to take an Uber, but I thought... Ugh, any, it's just unnecessary money that you're spending so I'm gonna use a taxi and then um, yeah I'm gonna use a taxi and then maybe Uber when I'm closer to the place because I don't really know the place anyway let's let's walk because I'm so tired and so tell me what you see in me gotta be something different you must be made for me, patient is never thin In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult This is where the magic happens. Okay, so for the Hollywood, mm -hmm. these are small little, very sexy panties. Mm -hmm. So, but you're going to put it on the back side to the front. Okay. And then you can leave your top on mm -hmm. and just take pants, panty, and this sexy little thing. Okay. You're going to put that on <laughs> and then I'll be with you in a sec. So scary. I'm actually literally naked. Well, the underarm one doesn't really need me to take off my um, my top, but the Hollywood one requires me to take off my everything, panties. Oh, that's my plastic from Pep Home. 
But anyway. I giggle. <laughs> That's but it's not nice. But it's because I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> Whew, guys, I'm so scared. We are about to do the, um, is it the Hollywood? What's the underarm one? What is underarm? Underarm in Hollywood. I'm so scared, guys. I don't like pain. That's my thing. I don't like pain. So we'll see how it goes. So this is cold, mm. but it's necessary. It is so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. We're only doing the underarm. Doesn't the underarm one take a bit longer? It's actually much quicker. Is it? Okay, you ready? Yep. Breathe. Remember to breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so the middle part's the worst. Okay. Oh! Are we done? Almost done, almost done. So bad. It's not as bad as the the, the Hollywood. So I could have done ten. Is that what you said? No, no, no. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm okay with eight. I can't do ten. It will still work. Mm -hmm. The time that it won't work. Is it? So if you do like a fifteen, is it more effective than eight? I think so because there's more heat going through. Okay. So, but it's okay. This will still work. Okay. It also depends on your blood pressure. Okay. Just put it in. And then... It smells nice. Okay, I told you. So it is a bit of a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished my laser treatment, the first session. Um, it was so nice guys, like the lady who was doing it was so nice, her name is Petros I think. She was so nice, she was reassuring, she was calming me down because it is quite, it's not very painful but it is quite sore if, that's creepy, anyway. Before those two guys disturbed me, I was saying that it is not so painful, but it is like, there's a sensation, man. Um, but also because it was the first time and she tried not to be hectic on me. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, I also have like more content for you guys. Like, I have so much more content. You guys will see it over the next few days. It's gonna be so dope. There's these kids who are irritating the living crap out of me. They keep driving their bikes up and down just so that they can appear in the camera and that's like really annoying. It's driving me crazy. But anyway, I changed my dress also because you'll see them. You'll see them. 
<laughs> anyway as I was saying, I changed my dress because I was wearing a crop top. I was wearing loungewear in, early in the morning and I was wearing a crop top. And because we, um, when you do the laser treatment, there's like a lot of gel that they put on your underarms and pubic area. Then it got wet and it got a bit messy. So I thought, ah, let me just take it off and go to church. Also, it was a crop top, so I can't go to church in a crop top. I told you guys that I wanted to get like a like smoothie jars. So wait, let me sh before I show you the blue one. Let me show you the pink one that I got. I got this one. It says more. I don't know if you guys can see it. More self love. It's so pretty. I just like the shade of pink. And because I'm extra, I thought, well, I'm gonna get another pink. Um, and this was like fourteen rand. It's fifteen rand basically. I got this one. And then I also got this one. So this one is going to be like a daily reminder. I don't know if you guys can see it. Do what makes you happy. So with this one, when I drink it, I'm going to remind myself. <laughs> it didn't break. Hoo, hoo. Okay. With this one, when I drink from it, I'm going to remind myself to do what makes me happy. And with this one that fell, I need to get it. Oh. I am going to remind myself to love me more. And because um, I'm married to somebody who likes things, I got him the blue one. It's probably mine because it's got flowers, but his favorite color is blue. So I thought maybe I should just get it for him. I don't think he's going to use it, but he might use it because I've got this... Um, camera lens cup he didn't want it when i bought it he was like no i don't want it it's not my kind of stuff but he takes it with him everywhere so he might use this one it's so pretty also i like the flower it has nothing written on it because well yeah guys i keep wanting to drop these things i got these bath glove yeah bath gloves i i feel like they scratch me i'm an awesome scratch man not scratch Yes, they do scratch. Mara, we hold like you hold like a scrub. Scrub. They scrub me so nicely. Is it scrub? Eh, mara, we hold like you can hold like. I'm not even wrong with these. Um, I had the green ones, and I also had the white ones. But the green ones just didn't. I don't like the aesthetic. I don't like. It just doesn't make sense. This makes sense. This makes sense. This doesn't really make sense. But it, I can work with it. You know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, so I bought these for now. And I also bought this mini scrub. Normally, I buy bigger ones. Um, oh, by the way, this is 16 Rand 99. Why is it so expensive? Well, it's not expensive. Maranese 16 Rand. But anyway, I bought this also, this um mini sponge thingy. Um I had a pink big one and then what happened to it? Oh, it started yeah somewhere. So I was just like, oh man, it's fine. I'm not gonna be able to go to the shop that I want to buy it at right now. So I'm just gonna buy this one for the meantime. So these are like my new um thingy thingies for the week and then i am gonna get proper ones next week and last but definitely not least my favorite thing i bought this guys you know that part of adulthood that's me right now like i get so happy to buy things household items um this is like a toilet um Toilet roll holder, basically. So you put the, 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 the toilet roll jar out here, and then the one that you're gonna use, you put it here. I bought this because um, I thought it was very reasonable. It was hundred rand, and I thought, you know what, I might as well buy it because I was putting my toilet rolls. This other nice basket, it's pretty. It's 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 very pretty. My only problem is that because it's like an like an it's a very nice basket, man. Because it's that Raina this length to go up so it means that if the the toilet paper is finished you have to sort of like reach a little bit it's too far um and i mean you would still reach go fast if the last one is sitting here even with this one but i just felt like this one was less admin um and 
any other time when like you know the, the the toilet paper is finished i can just like put this one up here it's my favorite item today um so yeah guys that's all i bought at pep today i cannot wait to just focus on making my home beautiful i feel like um one it's long overdue i feel like since i moved to a new place i buy stuff for convenience and not necessarily to make the house look extremely good i feel like right now i want to start with my decor i want to start with making the house feel like a home but there's just something that needs to pass and once that thing passes i'm telling you my house is going to be so aesthetically pleasing it's going to be so beautiful but anyway my lovings this is where we end today's vlog i feel like i was rambling but it's fine it's a vlog it's okay um we're gonna end it here i will see you guys tomorrow i love you so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to tell your friends to join in on the family i love you guys so much see you tomorrow Mwah.